It's hard to imagine, but Christmas is three weeks away, which means it's tamale season for the tamale lovers. You are in luck because the second annual Long Beach International Tamales Festival is happening this weekend. And here to tell us all about it are the organizers, Sal Flores and Alex Garcia with Evil Cooks. We want to thank you both for joining us. Yes, thank so you. This is interesting because most festivals took a break during the pandemic, right. but you're started during the pandemic. Yes, we started with, you know, we thought, uh, we started with, our company started first with a, a taco festival back in May. Okay. And uh, it was so successful uh, during the pandemic that uh, we decided to do tamales. We figured, you know, we realized that LA County actually did not have a tamale festival. We are mm -hmm. the only one. Uh, oh. We were the last, or the only one last year. We're the only one this year that we know of. Huh. Uh, there is, you know, India, I know, has a big tamale mm -hmm. festival, mm -hmm. but there's nothing in L.A. So okay. we kind of, you know, filled the void that was in L.A. And it's a great way to showcase different regions of Latin America and all mm -hmm. over the world, all kinds of different tamales. And, uh, you know, it's a great way to kick off the holidays. Yes, because so many of us love them during the holidays. We're showing our viewers some video of uh, last year's event. And, I mean, you've got so many different vendors that show up for this. Right. Yeah, so last year we had about 15 vendors. It was our first year. We mm -hmm. didn't know what to expect, so we were expecting about 1,000 people. Well, we had over 2,500 people oh, wow. that showed up, so we actually sold out. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this year we're doubling the, the amount, so we're uh, expecting about 25 to 30 vendors, wow. food vendors. And, you know, there's going to be retail, shopping, all kinds of stuff. There's going to be family activities, so we made it bigger, better, and we partnered with KCRW and um, uh, Lola's Mexican Cuisine will be doing the bar, but also Long Beach City College. Wow. Uh, that's yeah. So, so yeah, it's a lot of fun it's for a the lot whole of fun. family for and a lot family, of absolutely. good tamales yes. to eat. Yes. yes, and you know there are a lot of different types of tamales. Right. And uh, Alex, you've got something really interesting that you brought here. I'm trying right. to figure this out. So, so tell me about the tamale, and we're gonna make one. So we're gonna make some tamales. Okay. Uh, okay. For this year, we're gonna offer the tamal de pork belly with salsa verde. Okay. Basically, we braise the pork belly in salsa verde. We put it inside the tamal, and it is beautiful. But this year, we're going to showcase a sweet tamal. We're going to do a gancito tamal. That's basically that. That's this. our childhood memories right there, there inside is. of the right. tamal. This is going to be inside. And we top it off with some bananas, some wafers, and some uh, homemade uh, raspberry Jamaica uh, marmalade. Okay, okay. And let's make one. Okay, let's, let's, not, let's right? do it. I'm game. So you're gonna, gonna grab your tamal and wrap it like a gift? Oh, so I'm going to unwrap, unwrap it? it? Yes. Oh, this there is opposite go. of what I thought I'd be doing. I thought I was gonna be wrapping it up. No. Okay, so I'm unwrapping. Oh, wow, okay. We're going to top it off with our homemade uh, raspberry Jamaica jam. Just a little drizzle? As many as you want. Okay. It smells really good. We're going to okay. top it off with some bananas. Uh-huh. And that all goes inside of it or on no, top? No, that goes on top. Okay. And also a wafer for that crunchy factor. And that's pretty much it. The whole gancito is inside already, so you're going to get some of that creaminess from the pastry cream, mm -hmm. some of that uh, spongy from the sponge cake, uh -huh. and a lot of chocolate inside. Wow, okay, and then you just dig in. Yeah, you wanna make wow. another one? We'll wow. make another one. We're gonna make a sandwich oh. with a tamal inside. Really, it's okay. Ba this basically is from Mexico City. What they do, they put the whole tamal inside of the bolillo. Uh -huh. Let me bring this okay. in. Okay, let's move this one aside. Yes. Okay. You're a perfect sous chef. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because I like to eat, so That's sometimes I have to work to, to so you know, earn it. So we have put the whole tamal inside. Okay. You're going to grab your salsa verde okay. right here. Grab okay. a, spoon a spoon right there. Okay. Okay. Drizzle on the top. Little drizzle on the top. Okay. Grab some salsa roja. That's uh -oh. the spicy factor right there. Okay. Let's... Okay. Grab a little bit of whole coke. Grab another spoon. Okay. Okay. And that's that creamy side of the. Okay. All right. And last, we're going to put some uh, pico onions. Okay. I'll let you handle the onions. And that's pretty much your torta de tamal. Wow. Two new things I've never thought about before. So this is perfect. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you. And of course, the Long Beach International Tamales Festival is this Sunday, December 4th, from noon until 7 p.m. at Long Beach City College. And of course, you can find more information about it by just going to our website, kgl9.com, and click Scene on TV.